Hey, this is Chris. Welcome back to The Daily Briandy. I hope everyone had a great holiday. We're just gearing back up here in the store, and I really want to show off one of the best pieces we've had in uh, recent history at the store here. And these guys need no introduction. Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and this is a dual signed uh, album page. So the piece of paper, um, and you could tell by the rounded corners, it comes from an album page. So um, if you remember, or if you've ever seen them before, album pages, I have one right here. This is a typical autograph album. Kids would carry these around, hopefully see uh, celebrities, but also they would just have their friends and whoever, uh, you know, sign for them and write a little note. So that's what we have here. Um, they're very popular. You see a lot of uh, cut autographs come out of albums like this. Um, and obviously the first thing you probably noticed when you saw this is how big and large and bold these autographs are. So uh, we have Ruth up here on the top. And then this is really nice too. You have uh, Lou Gehrig, but if you can see how large the Lou Gehrig is, um, that's, you know, really impressive for him. Typically, he didn't sign like that. He would sign uh, even Little Light, and he also, it was a lot smaller. So this is probably a 30s uh, album page based on the autograph style of them both. Um, but again, usually you see the Garrick uh, a lot smaller than the Ruth here. Um, but the Ruth is not small at all, so <laughs> you can still sign. Uh, one thing I want to also mention is right above the Babe Ruth there, you can see there's other ink uh, markings. So um, the first thing we thought was, okay, they're probably lowercase y's or z's or g's. Um, so we think, oh, maybe it was like uh, Joe DiMaggio or Tony Lazzari. Uh, but, you know, why would you cut that out of the album if it was that? Um, obviously... It's a great tandem, Ruth and Gehrig, but you probably wouldn't cut that out. Um, or maybe it was a personalization. Maybe it's to Greg or something like that. Um, but either way, um, it's still a phenomenal piece. Uh, beautiful. It's PSA graded mint nine on top of that. Uh, you got the picture of the both of them glued onto the album page. Uh, this is just an old time, awesome collectible. Uh, it's awesome to see stuff like this. So if you have any questions about autographs uh, coming out of vintage books and album pages like this, just comment below. Uh, thanks for watching Daily Brigandi. We'll see you tomorrow.